Thanks everyone for, for being here today. Uh, for those of you who don't know much about Boss2, we are the number one social gaming company in Brazil with over 50 million registered users, more than 10 million active users per month in Brazil only, and pretty much half of the Brazilian popula online population have played one of uh, Boss2 games. Uh, we have around 230 employees in, in our offices in Buenos Aires and San Pablo, where we have great developers, designers and artists, and many of them are Brazilians, who, that, that is key to include local content in our games as, as we do. Um, you know, both two games are available in Orkut, Facebook and Google+, Plus, and uh, we, within our games portfolio we have uh, key franchises like Mini Facenda, that you know it, it's been around for more than two years, and we still have almost half million daily active users in in our game. So my goal here today is to hopefully help some of you uh, build stronger businesses in in your market by telling you the story of Boss2, some key learnings, and some insights uh, that that we got. From, from this market. Um, so, again, Boss2 uh, has a clear focus. The focus is Brazil. And it's Brazil not only because of the natural beauty, but also because it is a large market. No? It's 200 million people. And it's a large market that is growing really fast. It's growing f fast in terms of GDP, in terms of online population and in terms of e-commerce spend. Uh, it's also a great market because Brazilians are highly engaged with social networks. Um, you know, Brazil is one of the fastest uh, growing market for Facebook. Uh, on Twitter, it's among the top five countries. And also, when you look at the minutes time, uh, 10 minutes spent per capita in social networks, Latin America will, will rank at the top. So overall, it is a great market to be on. Uh, but we did face uh, many challenges. And I grouped the challenges that we face into two categories. One category is challenges that we face in order to build our audience. And the other category is related to monetization, monetiz monetizing our user base. So let me briefly describe it, and then we go into more detail to, to each of one. So in terms of building the audience, we face the challenge of internet penetration when we, when we started. We face the challenge of multiple social networks. As you know, Brazil is one of the few markets where Facebook was not the leader a few years ago. We had Orkut, and I will talk a little bit more of that uh, later. And then critical mass. If we were to focus on only one country, we needed to achieve a high market share to get critical mass and a relevant, relevant business there. In terms of monetization, we faced the, the, the adoption of online payments you know, was lagging in, in Brazil, so we faced that, that challenge. The purchasing power and the amount of money that Brazilians have to spend on entertainment were also a big challenge for us. And of course, credit card penetration, which is a key payment method, uh, it's also very important. So let me start to go over the challenges of building the audience. In terms of internet penetration, you can see in the chart on, on your left, back then in 2008, Brazilian uh, online population was 14% of the, of the total population of, of Brazil, way below some other developed countries. But what was very interesting is that when we look at where the, the Brazilians were accessing to the internet, they, not were, they, they weren't doing that from home or work, they were going to land houses. Land houses is local area network houses or cyber cafes where you, know, you pay per minute for, for the internet. So almost half of the online population of, of Brazil were accessing and surfing the web through 
these uh, cyber cafes and, and land houses. So what we did is we created boss to pack boss to pack is our own proprietary cash pin system where the user goes with cash to uh, any of these sites, these cyber cafes, buy with cash some pin, and then the pin, uh, he can use it in, in every boss to, boss to game to get virtual currencies. So we were present in around 300,000 um, point of sales, including land houses, and that really helped not only monetization, of course, but also in brand awareness and you know building the the audience. So that was that was key and that was something that was very unique for for Brazil. Then the the multiple social network challenge is, you know, as, as I commented earlier, um, if we look one year ago, uh, Org were was having around tw uh, 35 million monthly active users. Facebook was with 25 million, and if you go two years ago, the absolute leader was Orkut. Facebook was, was really small, and now we have also Google Plus. So, when, with these numbers, we, we, we were thinking internally whether we should, you know, choose a social network to publish our games, or we should, you know, predict what was, what was going to happen in Brazil in order to decide what, where to go and how fast this will, this will occur. So we finally decided not to do that and to actually publish all of our games in every social network, Orkut, Facebook, Google+. And you know, we did that and we became very uh, good at coding and testing for each of the platforms and as we update our games uh, every week, this was a, a really a challenge, but we got very good at that. But we went even further, and we decided to create what we call the boss to gaming network. And what this is, is this will allow our user to start a game on Orkut, for example, a, let's say a, a user that played Mini Facenda for two years, he built a great farm, spent a lot of money, you know, building it. He has virtual currency, and now he wants to move to Facebook. So what we did is created this backend system where he can start playing the same game, Mini Facenda, on Facebook without losing his farm, without losing the virtual currency that he has, so he, he doesn't need to start over. He will continue his game in other uh, social network. But what happened if some of the friends he was playing, um, this is a social game, they decide to, to stay on Orkut, well, he can also interact uh, with social, like sending gifts or visiting uh, a neighbor uh, that is playing in, in the other platform. So you can, you can play on Facebook, send a gift to a user that is playing on Orkut, and that will happen through our uh, own boss 2 gaming network. Uh, so every day we have you know, a thousand hundreds of, of gifts and neighbors' visits that are cross-platform. In terms of critical mass, again, we decided to focus on Brazil. So to, to, to achieve critical mass, we needed to really get good market share and be the leaders and dominant in the, in the market. So what we did is we invest heavily in a brand awareness and localization of our games. So for example, for the launch of Megacity, one of our city building games, we filmed two TV commercials with Adriana Lima, which is a top model, and Ivechi Sangalo, a very famous uh, local uh, singer. And we were in national television with those TV commercials. But we also include the local content into our games, and we did uh, promotions to unlock exclusive remix of these artists uh, in, in our games uh, when you finish a mission or you were able to participate in a meet and greet contest and then you actually go and meet your, your, your idol. No? So this was key to localize our games and to really create a competitive advantage. And finally, we did the first ever in-game streaming radio and when you play both two games, especially Mini Facenda, Mega City, which are one of the, our largest games, you will have a radio, a, like a regular radio, with lo great local music and a Portuguese-speaking host 
who will give you tips of the game you are playing. So these really help, help us build, build, build our audience and create some good uh, market share. Let me go over to the monetization um, challenges that we face. Uh, first, you know, trust on, on okay. Hello, yeah, so monetization challenges, online payment, trust on online payments, uh, adoption of online payments was a challenge and purchasing power as well. This is a chart where you can see that Brazil is low on GDP per capita and also lower than more developed countries in e-commerce spend per capita. Um, and also the, the size of the bubble is the proportional to the growth rate. So Brazil was catching up, but you know, selling virtual goods in Brazil, you know, have some, some challenges than doing that, the same thing on, on more developed uh, countries. So with these figures in mind, we figured out that we needed to find some other ways to monetize our users, uh, and more important, have someone else to pay. So we, what we did was create deep relationship with local retail and consumer brands, and we ran many in-game campaigns with them, and because we are a focus on Brazil only, we were able to offer them the possibility of doing in-game campaigns that are country specific. For example, Unilever with uh, their ketchup brand, they were running a, a campaign on, on TV where they were showing to the consumers that in each of the ketchup bottles, you have 10 natural tomatoes. So we did the same campaign on Mini Facenda, our farming game, uh, where you needed to harvest 10 tomatoes in order to get one bottle of ketchup with special rewards. Another example would be Decolar, which is a major online uh, travel agency that they sponsor uh, our airport on Mega City, the city building game and have special missions for them there as well. And finally, you know, soccer is big in Latin America and Brazil, so we partner with Boca, Corinthians, major, major uh, teams there to, to have sponsorships within, within our games as well. So this is more traditional in-game advertising, but because, again, of our Brazilian focus, we were able to go even further and partner with Walmart, Walmart Brazil, where the objective was to incentivize users to go to the walmart.com site and make real purchases. So we integrate a virtual Walmart store within our Megacity game, and when the user clicks on the Megacity virtual store, it will be directed to the walmart.com, and then when the user registers and make a per real purchase, they will get automatically rewarded within the mega city game with virtual currency. And for doing this, we needed to integrate our developer, developers had to integrate the backend and the payment system in order to do it. So this was a great campaign, it's running right now. We are pretty, very proud of it and we think it will open many opportunities for us in the, in the near future. So finally, credit card penetration. Um, you know, in the chart on the left, you can see the amount of credit card per person in each of, of the countries. Uh, as you can see, Brazil is uh, more than half of, of USA. So what was interesting is when you look at uh, our internal numbers, both two numbers on the, on the chart on your right, 75% um, of our transactions are not coming from credit cards. They uh, are coming from SMS, so people will send SMS to get a code and then get the virtual currency. And also Boleto Bancario and Bot to Pack, which is our own um, system, as, as I commented earlier. Boleto Bancario, I don't know if you're familiar, is something that is also in Brazil only. It's a form that you need to print out in the game. Then you, you take that form to the bank, pay there, and then Bosto will get you know, the authorization two or three days later. So really, 
when you see the revenues, it's the other column, 50% of our revenues are not coming from, from credit card, are coming from SMS and other payment methods. So this, building this uh, robust payment system with the local carriers was key for us to, to monetize with in-game purchases. So if we summarize all the monetization efforts that, that we did, this is a build-up of both to ARPU. Uh, if we take the first column, there I only consider in-game purchases through credit card. And let's say that's an ARPU of 100. Now if we include what it's coming from in-game purchases but through SMS, boss to pack and Boleto Bancario, that will add double, another 100. So now we are in 200. Then if we add the revenues that are coming from in-game advertising, all forms of advertising that we have, it will you know, increase the ARPU another 20%. So at the end, boss to ARPU is 2.4 times what it will be if we only have in-game purchases through, through credit cards. So really here, adapting your, your, your strategy to the local market and be really innovative on the way you, you monetize your, your users, uh, it will really help on, on, on achieving ARPUs that we can compare to ARPUs that we see in more developed, developed countries. So it went a little bit fast, but um, that's all I have. Hope, hope was, was helpful. I'm, of course, open to, to questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the question is, how do we compare the, the ARPUs that we are seeing in Brazil with other Latin American countries? And, you know, we, we see pretty much the same challenges that we see in Brazil to monetize users in, in the rest of the countries. I would say Argentina, second, Mexico coming after Argentina, and the rest are, you know, about, about the same. So. It's the same in, in each country, it's, it's different in terms of usage of SMS and you need to do local deals, but uh, we'll see pretty much the same, the same challenges around Latin America, but again, I will say Brazil, Argentina, Mexico, and the rest of the countries. Any other question? All right, yeah, here. Yes, we naturally are already, you know, in other countries because our games are in Facebook and in Spanish. So we, we, we are planning to do so. The, the fact that we are so based on Brazil was because we started on Orkut. So Orkut was Brazil only. But sure, you know, our, our business is growing in, on Facebook and on Facebook we are reaching in other Latin American countries and more globally as well. And we are doing local local uh, initiatives in Mexico, for example, and in Argentina as well. Yes? Is, is Orkut still the dominant of the, the three that you put up there? Is it still much larger than Facebook? Or, or no, no, right now, depending on the source, I don't want to say who is the leader, but they are, they are pretty much the same. Now. But you, you, you saw the chart, no? the Facebook was growing really, really fast. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.